Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical Arco and myself Arnab Kundu. Today I will discuss the Java program in BlueJ environment. Means how to write Java programs in BlueJ environment, how to compile it and how to run the program. Okay, so go to the computer screen. Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical Arquen. Today I will discuss how to write Java program and how to compile and run within BlueJ environment. Okay, here I am using BlueJ version 4.1.4. .4. Okay, hello friends, the last video we are defining a class example and within that we are just provide a method void main and for the class is concerned we instantiate the class example means we have create the object and the object name is ex and after we call the method main through this object and we get the output in the console now today we are defining another class and we are defining the class code in different way and we don't create any object of that class and how it possible to run that particular code okay so just create a new class and suppose put the class name is ex only and press ok same way so just right click on that ex class open editor select all the default part and just press delete and suppose we write the code for class ex and within this brace we are just write the method public static void main and send as argument string args means is a string array okay and within that method we are just write the statement system dot out dot println and just write here hello blue j environment okay double quote close parenthesis close semicolon close this main method and close this class ex okay now they are using some keyword of this main method is concerned public static and void means it will return nothing why public if we define a main as a access specifier public it means we can access that main method outside of that class okay and now why we are using this static keyword if we define the main method as a static then we don't need to instantiate of the class ex because if the method is static so it's not the part of the object is a part of the class so that's why we are defining here the main method as a public because we are called that method outside of that class ex and we don't need to create the object of the class ex means we don't instantiate of that class ex that's why you are using static keyword okay and string args means is a string array if you send some argument in string array so we can send into there okay so after we write that code just close that editor and same way just right click on that and just compile okay so the compilation is complete now just right click on that same class and just call void main because i'm already told don't need to create the object of that ex class because we are defining the method main as static so we can call the method using its class name so just call void main now don't need to provide any argument and just press ok so just see in the console it just print hello blue j environment that means if you are using public static void main in that case don't need to create the object of that class because the method is called by its class because static method is not part of any object is a part of the class i hope you have understood today's example how to write public static void main within a java code and how it compiled and execute okay 
I hope that you have understood today's topic. For more videos, keep watching my channel Technical Arquin. Thank you and bye bye.